Okay, so we get one extra screencast here <clears throat> because we of course want to do something, well, we want to have an, an effect possible here in the reaction group. If we save our uh, list of words like this, we get the old list and the new list, but say if we want to make sure that one word is always present in, in this list here, then it makes sense to use the reaction rule we have for reacting on, on saving uh, this list <clears throat> and add uh, a certain word to this list. So if I add an action here and use the add an item to a list here, I want to add to the updated list, continue, I want to add so I direct input mode omega it should always be in this list. Let's enforce uniqueness so we don't get duplicates and save. Okay, let's also put this on top here so we can see what's happening with this little bugger. So if I now save this list here, um, it says that the old list is alpha beta, the new list is al alpha beta omega, as I wanted to, but it is not included here because uh, rules ha uh, rules cannot pass, well, <clears throat> normally rules cannot pass uh, uh, these uh, variables by reference. So uh, if you change them inside rules, it doesn't affect the rest of Drupal. Uh, and when you work with entities, this is no problem because entities are being saved uh, at the end of the rules execution. But when you work with uh, arrays like this, uh, uh, like the words we have here, this doesn't happen. <clears throat> so how can we work around this? Well, the answer is found on node 884554 at the bottom here somewhere. Uh, it says that you can use an object that is called a class that is called entity metadata array object. And I'm going to show you how this works. This took me some time to figure out, so uh, it is a bit complex, I guess, especially if you haven't used rules that much. Uh, but I'm going to do this. Uh, new words equal entity metadata metadata array object and we create this from the words that we have so we uh, in, in constructing this object we send in an array that we have and we get uh, we get an object back that rules then can handle it's being wrapped in a way that uh, so rules can pass it by reference and update whatever happens uh, with this. However, uh, this means that we cannot just invoke the event by sending along these words and we should have new words. This, well, here we can send along this uh, wor new words thingy here. This will then be uh, manipulated inside rules and then down here when we save things we should save the new words uh, but not the object that we have, but a property here that is called, uh, let's see, get array, what was it? Okay, let's see here. New words. Come on. What's happening here? Am I doing this wrong? Go to the declaration here. Sorry about the what the um. where the heck? Okay, let's let's do it the hard way. Let's uh, look this up. Class this. No, okay. Let's get this then. Uh, abstract class, perhaps. Rules code module. No and the wrapper. Here it is. Get array. Okay. Uh, so we call this function, this method from from the object new words get array, and we save that array that we get back uh, in the rules coding word. So let's see if this works then. 
if I now save here I get something what the ah oh, okay here it is I should have a little new thing here good all right and now Omega is here in okay something here is wacky and that's probably No, that's probably a, a restaurant. No. Oh, uh, that's this um, uniqueness feature that we have. That's causing problems. Let if let's see if that's correct. If I turn this off and save, yeah. Okay, so we get Omega added here uh, multiple times, but. What do you know? It works. It freaking works. We pass it by reference and we can thus uh, change this list of words inside rules. <sighs> okay, that's it for this time. Thank you for watching. You've been a great audience. See you some other time. Bye.